Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're gonna talk about Test Cafe and we actually previously talked about Test Cafe before which is actually a great web automation tool but today we're gonna go and check the example of uh, testing Google search page. What we're gonna do we're just gonna type some search term here press the button and see the results but also we're gonna go through the main pages of Google let's say Gmail and Google images to basically go through those and verify that it does not show the page not found or something like that. So basically Basically simple script that achieves this kind of stuff and also we're going to talk about page object uh, concept and I before I actually talked about page object concept in one of my previous videos but it was some time ago today we're going to refresh it and basically apply this for this Google search page so, all right guys let's go ahead and try it out how it works so basically this is the script that I have right here testcafe.js you can actually download the whole script the whole package from the github repository I'm gonna provide it in the description below basically here it is you can download it right here then you can actually play around and see how it works first make sure that you have npm installed and it's node package manager and it's like essential core of all this so we need npm to be installed so npm is installed and of course since it's a node package uh, we can take a look at the package.json it's actually quite simple here what I did is actually I just installed test cafe so basically npm i test cafe and you're gonna install this as this in your package so it's already installed right here once you grab the package from the github all you need to do is basically do npm install npm install gonna basically install all the dependencies on your local machine for the specific package all the dependencies that you need is gonna be done lowered right here on your local machine that's basically there's not much set setup involved at all in package json there is not much interesting here I just specified the main file for test execution testcafe.js it shows the commands for the scripts and it shows the testcafe dependency right here and of course it shows the author name which is me <laughs> okay so if we go back to testcafe Cafe.js. let's see how our script actually works first we import test URLs from this file test URLs is located right here what it does basically is just I specify categories on the website that we are gonna go through and test with those pages so google.com slash mghp google.com slash privacy google.com slash maps next uh, we import base URL from test environment so it's always good to separate stuff and make your tests really readable and nice test environment is right here it's google.com base URL just means the root basically google.com is the root we're gonna execute everything on this URL the next thing is the page object concept guys I have a video about page object concepts if you need to refresh your memory go ahead and check it out so here we basically import from page objects folder we import the home page file and this file of course represent just the main page of the Google search engine in my representation of the test right let's discuss how home page class is organized first of all it's required stuff for the test cafe to function second thing is a class here itself and what we do here we actually specify the selectors locators so we specify that this is the search field and this is the search button so we basically find out those how do we do it with well, basically we press right click and press inspect and then press right click here and then copy and then we copy the CSS selector this is what we're gonna end up with two CSS selectors for the search button and for the search field of course it does not look pretty because it's it's supposed to be having specific attributes and you should have like a search button attribute and the search field attributes but for this example I'm just provided the selectors right here we're gonna go in next videos we're gonna discuss more about selector strategies that you can apply and then guys two methods first method is gonna press the search button and second method is gonna do typing in the search field right here this is how it looks like and as you can see we just take as input we just take search term and then of course with the last line we just make sure that this class is uh, approachable and usable outside so basically anybody can use methods from here okay let's go back to our main script in this script we have two functions first functions is basically verifying going through all the links this is the links that we have right here as you can see privacy and maps in this one the second link is actually verifying that there is no page not found displayed on the page that we open basically verifying like that and then guys we just basically execute this function verify all links and then test URLs and test URLs of course specified right here one thing to note guys is that it also verifies if user actually wants to to do the check no page not found function it basically checks it if it's like zero it does not do anything if it's one it's actually does execute this method simplifying the code like this and basically applying this to different scenarios it's really really actually good approach and then guys of course the main script right here what it does is basically 
basically type search term as we discussed it basically just grabs it right here type search term and the second thing is presses the keys enter it basically types search press enter i also have the method right here to actually press the button but for some reason i decided okay it's probably going to be easier if i just press enter right here just like it just clicks the enter button and that's it feel free to use either methods it's going to be working either way but this is how you decided to do just just to show and then of course guys you can execute the test this way so you can press t click and then you can actually perform all, all the actions right here you can just use it like this but it's of course much more readable if you use page object because you can simplify your test and you can reuse those so it's much much easier this way so let's actually go ahead and run our test to do this we can just use it like this test cafe then the name of the browser firefox and then the name of the test uh, test cafe that gs let's go ahead and see how it works okay so first of all it just checks the links it opens the map and then it types a search term okay it's done the test is done guys this is how it works and it also provides all the output right here so verify links this is the link that actually verified and verify press and search uh, google button right so for passed everything is passed it took 20 seconds it also generates the report right here so if you want to reuse it in some ci let's say continuous integration or just reuse it as a file and send the file to somebody you can use it this way it's actually easy to specify this in the configuration file uh, configuration files right here so browsers safari headless basically like a default browser is going to use test cafe that JS and of course report.json the file is going to be generated for reports it's quite easy guys it works this way of course you can add more URLs right here feel free to do it you can modify this loop you can uh, add more items more checks here whatever you want it's really simple script that does all you need okay guys thank you for watching I hope this example was useful to you feel free to comment press the like button subscribe of course and let me know what do you think definitely please provide me any suggestions on how I can improve it for the future videos because because probably it's going to be also about test cafe and some kind of integration with continuous integration or something like that. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.